Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of Binding of Isaac. This episode, it is this fucking bitch. God damn it. Alright, well, when you do things in order, you have to do the shitty ones. Unfortunately, I've left all the shitty ones to the end. So, uh, yeah. Although, in perfect, like, to be perfectly honest, she's not that bad. I mean, it's the same with all of the characters in this. You can have oh, for fuck. You can have really bad runs if you don't get uh, decent drops, basically. So Sister Maggie in the first room is not fantastic, but whatever. Getting a red chest in here is pretty good. I'm going to risk it. No, that's that's not good. Fucking ranged down pills. That's really not good, man. That can really cost you. There's so many strategies that that messes up. <laughs> so many scumbag strategies that I use. Uh, yeah, we'll go fight the boss just now. Not take any damage, so. Larry Jr., he will drop us a spirit heart because he is the blue variety of Larry Jr. So that's pretty good. That's not bad to get Ellie off. There we go. I'm just giving them a, a liberal peppering. There we go. A liberal Larry Jr. tear bath. We have horrible range right now. I think that's what happens when you give them a nice peppering. Oh wow, look at all this stuff. Oh, we got health up. Pretty damn good. Shouldn't have picked up that spirit hawk, so I'm right now going to waste it. <gasps> Slightly annoying, but what the hey. So we took no damage on the first floor. That's always good. Well, apart from this, but shh, doesn't count. Ooh, pill. What's this one? Bad trip, alright. Do love a good bad trip. Well, it's this one. Prince of the end. Alright, pretty shitty. Our pills so far are pretty horrendous, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, <laughs> like, range down. Bad trip. Friends to the end. So, <laughs> I could, could I fuck get in there there? Uh, I can't get it in the hole. Um, although, to be fair, it's I can't get her in the hole, which doesn't quite make sense. Or it's increasing, increasingly disgusting the more you think about it. Hey, key. Uh, yeah, hopefully we get a speed up. I'm not going to complain about a speed up. Speed ups are pretty good. Especially at the start, like, just being that bit above base speed. Uh, just helps you get off some uh, decent dodges, for example. Look at that, I couldn't have done that without that speed up. There we go. There we got another key. Plus, having low range is compensated if you've got a speed up. You, spider did. Spider dick, spider dick. Don't know how I killed him there. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Do -do -do, do -do 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 He is a spider dick. Alrighty. Let's take out this last spider dish. And that's him dead, and that's another fucking shitty pill. Bad trip, we can keep a hold of that, because if we go down half a heart, it's uh, full health. Right, come on. Needless to say, I've had a lot of caffeine, and if you watch my Rogue Legacy play. Uh, playthrough, then you'll learn that I also have had very little sleep. Um, decided that we would play a crap ton of Daisy last night, so yeah, went to bed a bit later than I should have done, to be perfectly honest. And which I mean, like, I slept for about two hours. So, lots of coffee. Lots and lots and lots of coffee. Right, who's this? Goddard Jr. Goddard Jr. is great. Goddard Jr. is one of the hardest bosses you can possibly fight in this fucking game. Like, without a fucking doubt. As soon as you get her down to half hour, she starts just flying all over the shop. Not gonna die because I do have my full health pill, but still. Go on, bud. There we go. That's dead. Oh, we got a box. What's in the box? Bloody penny. Nice. 
Bloody Penny is a good item. Ah, oh, the word card. Oh, what are these spells? Health down. That's what I'm talking about. See what I mean? Like, wow. Just freaking wow at these pills. <laughs> you can't help but laugh, so if you don't laugh, you cry. <clears throat> My god. Just gonna be one of them runs on it where everything just goes wrong. We do have the bloody penny, so it's one of them things. We're gonna be able to get a lot of hearts kicking about. What? What else is it gonna be? That's ridiculous. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of hearts kicking about, so uh, things like the blood bank and the self satisfaction are probably gonna come in handy, but. What's what's this one? Oh, that was a bad trip. Fuck it's a bad trip. Taking the world card downstairs, I'm gonna use it. Bomb. Alright, we could go and fight the boss straight away, which we probably should have done. My god, just die, you stupid massive fly. Come on. I just need to kill the spider. <laughs> the flies are protecting him. No, flies and spiders. You're not allies. Got it. There we go. That's him dead. Oh, the fork. Oh, well, thanks. Rather bloody penny. What well, higher chance of getting kills, uh, getting health with the bloody penny than the, the bloody fork? <laughs> Wait. Uh, die, you fucking nutsack flies. That's what they look like. They look like nuts, X. Just gonna throw that one out there. Hey, another spare heart. And uh, who are we fighting? Famine, Pestilence, War. Let's see the Famine or Pestilence. I hate these guys. I can never remember the names of them. I really should learn. Uh, I'm going to see this guy's Pestilence. Because he's shooting out poisonous green goop. You know what would be really nice? A fucking health up. Or a damage up. Or a range up. Or even a speed up. Or brimstone. <laughs> or mum's knife. Let's just hope that either of them, uh, the brimstone or mum's knife, are on sale. Because I will buy them. I don't care if it's going to put me down to zero hearts if I get brimstone. I will gladly take that. Better than what we've got just now. Health down pills aren't terrible, because if you've got no health, then they give you a health up. Kind of like the, uh. What'd you call them? The. Bad trip pills. There we go, uh, just wait until everything subsides. Uh, we get a cube meat. Uh, what do you want, devil? Something good. Curse of the night. Gonna take it basically because it gives me infinite curse state as well. See? Infinite curse state and flight and Ouija tears. There we go, we'll just pop that open. Don't want to take damage when all I've got is uh, spirit hearts, nah, I mean. So shoot the fuck out of that and pop back out. There we go, don't need to kill the other ones. Alright boys, whenever you want, just shoot up here. Nah, right here, right here. Oh, secret room's not there. That was worth it. <laughs> that was definitely worth it considering it didn't cost me anything, so. Curse of the Night, does that increase your- oh no, I was going to say, does that increase your damage? Oh, I know where the secret room is, fucking idiot. There we go. But difficult to get these guys into a position that you want them in. And they've got so much damage, which is eh, so much damage, so much health. Which is really annoying. I'm gonna focus on this guy. I'm gonna keep my eyes trained on. There we go, that's some dead. And it's this guy, and it's this guy. That's another thing about having flight and getting that speed up so early on. Oh shit, I just took damage off of it. No point whatsoever. There we go, and if I just stand here then I can Kill these guys and shouldn't take any damage whatsoever. There we go, and a coin. Perfect. Let's see what's in here. Uh, the Book of Shadows. Hmm? Might as well take it. Gives me vulnerability. 
Uh, and who's this son of a bitch? Gluttony. You right, buddy? There you go. Sorted and... Hey. I like how it's like he's struggling to get his flaps open. He's like, ah, kapow. Might as well take that, so I've got no other hearts. Fuck you, Gish. Sometimes these Gish just like, they get so perfect, the little sniper positions. Fucking hell. Surprised didn't take damage there. Right, and we're going to see if we can get a blowy up guy to let us into the. Uh, Nope. No blow up guys available, thanks. What? I was miles away there. There we go, and kill these guys. Come on, bird. I mean, then I'll kill the fly then. No load of these scumbags. Fuck's sake. You even got the audacity to pop open the fly. Come on, there we go. There's three of them down my anus. Or their anus. Come on, there we go. Last one. Sorted. Oh, no heart, don't need that, thanks. Boom, and boom. Sorted. Ah, red patch. No thanks. I'd rather bloody penny to be perfectly honest with you. Lots of hearts. What's in here? Nope. No thank you. So we will go to the shop and see what's available for purchase. Doing shockingly on health. Oh, so we've got the item room. Ta -da -da. Single half heart. Half hearts everywhere because of bloody penny. Bloody penny is really good if you've got something like a... Uh, well, if you've got a decent amount of health, to be perfectly honest. What's in here? One of them blue pills. I'm gonna buy that blue pill, because I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was a bad trip. I don't know why it's still a bad trip. I've got no health. That's shocking. I'll keep a hold of that anyway, because it's a full health, so... I couldn't remember if it was a... Health detriment or what? Like, if it was a health down? A health detriment? What kind of language is that, Stijo? Um, we could get the monster man here, but I would much prefer the Book of Shadows, which makes you invulnerable, especially with the amount of life that we've got just now. There we go, and we'll try and kill these guys. There we go, kill him, and whoa, lots of dodging. Um, we'll see what's in here. B rev. Yes, please. Thank you very much. And space pipe. <laughs> and what was this? Oh, we don't know. Uh, hey, tears up. Fuck yes. Sorry, bro. No money thing. As soon as I do, you will definitely get it all because you're insane and I love you. But uh. But yeah, no money right now. And Cube Meat will do some damage to them as well. When it, uh, pardon me, what oh Every time it passes. There we go, and sorted, and health, and boss room, and dog food, which is a health up, which is yes. Where is it? Monstro. I don't mind Monstro. Not terribly anyway. So yeah, we're, we're in a decent position now. We're in a good position to get a... Uh, another deal with the devil. I feel like... You know how I was saying about Judas last episode, if you watched last episode? I was saying that Judas has got a, a higher percentage chance, like a higher base chance of getting deals with the devil. Um, I feel like it really should be Eve, because to unlock Eve you need to get... Uh, you need to do two deals with the devil in the same run. Which is super easy as Maggie, just in case anyone's not unlocked Eve. Oh my god, I can't believe you just done that. Come on. 
Go on. Fucking Larry Jr. I can't believe I got hit by Larry Jr. I basically did fucking ride into him though, and I did it. Yo. Lots of regular hearts, but I wouldn't want to spend them until they're. Uh, There we go, and... Let's see if we just push him onto the fucking spikes. What? What? How could I be sitting on a fucking... a rock and get shot by him? I don't understand that. What ifs? What frickin' ifs? These guys just seem to be bloody filler bottom uh, filler bombs, filler mobs. To be honest, like, they don't actually seem to do anything. I suppose there's always that odd chance you could take half a heart of stupid damage because you get complacent with them. I bet I've probably took half a heart of stupid damage because I've been complacent with them. We're going to get a horseman of some descript. Oh fuck. I had to kill that fire, I did not want to be fighting a room full of immolated leapers. Eh, uh, hoppers are. Well. Not like the hoppers are tough, but it's just a pre preference of mine not to fight harder ones. There we go. Like I said before, like some rooms you can just get uh, you can just get them so that they can't even hit you but all depends on how the uh, how the holes are on the room basically what's this? no idea pretty fly, ah it's not bad normal, quite like orbitals, who are we getting? peep? how the hell? we've used book revelations Peep can't fit here because there's a rock, but his eyeballs can, which is a bit annoying. Well, actually, no, it's... See, flight can make one of the hardest bosses in the game pretty fucking easy. Basically, he's one of the hardest bosses because of that stupid fucking creep. And his bloody eyeballs are annoying as hell. And his jumps. And his projectiles. And he's just a plain asshole, to be perfectly honest with you. There we go, and if it's going to bounce between those walls, then I'm going to come down to this rock. That range down is horrible. There we go. Come on, Pete. Just give up the ghost already, sir. Oh. So now that eyeball has swapped its trajectory. Why not swap its trajectory again? We just need to watch for it and just sit on the rocks which are uh, not going to cause you any hassle. See? So it's not going to come to these rocks. You just wait on Pete jumping to you. Just like that one's not going to come to these rocks. But as soon as it hits off a peep, no, it's still not going to come to these rocks. Oh, no, we're in a mild spot of trouble. Because they're uh, they're going to completely different sides now. But yeah, that says like, look at the state of this damage that I'm doing. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. I really need to pick up something in this uh, this devil room that's going to be worth uh, two hearts. Ah, oh, we didn't even get a devil room. Oh, fuck you then. That was a bit bullshit, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, loads of places for the secret room to be. What? In what fucking universe was I getting hit there? Uh, right, so we'll pay our cent to get in here. And there is health bloody galore. So...
And we've got Bloody Penny, so. Ah, oh, Blood Bank. Uh, probably Blood Bank, rather. So we'll grab this and we will. Uh, rapidly grab all of the hearts that are kicking about. So that's that one. Which is in here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, lots of pennies. This is one way that you can completely do the blood penny, the bloody penny. So that's one, two, three, four, five. This uh, portable blood bank basically gives you unlimited coins. Oh, I missed one. Oops. Not like it matters because... Yeah. And if we could get a... <laughs> if we could get a d20 or something then... Sky's the limit. Let's look at the state of this room. Well, that's just got full coins, so we might as well go to the shop and buy whatever was in there. And play the absolute bejesus out of the arcade. This is one of them game breaking things, by the way, just in case you didn't realise. <laughs> this is how you break the game. Oh, yeah! I forgot about your judgement. I told you I'd be back with money, didn't I? Yeah, buddy. I've got lots of money. Holy fuck, habit. That is good. That is a good pickup. Oh, so we'll grab the bomb that was in the shot. That's not very good. What is? Oh, look at that. Fucking ank. Ank. Whatever you want. Ah, uh, eternal life. Brings you back with three spirit hearts and as blue baby, basically. Pretty good, the ank. 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 I love that. It's just like infinite fucking half hearts. Bloody penny is OP, is OP. The bloody penny is OP, is OP. Do -de -do -de 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 -de. The bloody penny is OP, it's OP. Right. So, yeah. Basically, we can use both of these guys until they explode because we're going to have infinite money. Oh, the moon's actually quite useful. Oh wow, that was quick. So we got Skatol. <laughs> Ask again later. Oh, there's a Polaroid. I'm not really into that. We'll get off the mum anyway. Right, ah, that's a blown up. Fucking heck. What a crack of shit. Uh, what will do though? We'll do that and we'll get up to full gold in here and fill our health back up again. Yep, sorted. And we'll grab this and we'll go. We've got as much, health, uh, much money as we're ever going to need in this game. That was pretty good that the uh, the arcade didn't take us that long. Uh, and the state of this room, man. D20. I wish. Alright, so we're here. What's in here? Oh, needle. I still need to get the common cold, so I'm going to keep picking up these viruses and such. Oh, fuck this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck you, greed. I'm not fighting you. Don't need your money. There we go. Let's bait him. Masterly. Masterfully. Masterfully baited. 
Oh, right, maybe not. Shut up. I think my jokes are funny, even if you don't. Whoa. Be rare, bitches. Yeah, I'm invulnerable, motherfuckers. I've got Book of Revelations and the Habit. At least for now. At least for now, I'm invulnerable, is what I mean. Uh, I hate these green guys. Dun 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 dun. Ba ba ba. Ba da 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 da. Key for me. Ba ba ba. Ba da 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 da. Come on, bitches. I need to kill the blind guys, because they're the biggest asshole. And then kill most of these guys and try and get them to. That's right. Oh, no. Oh, the secret room's definitely not there. Oh, another key. Rolling in keys right now. There's a fire. Oh, yes, Kato. Hey, hey. Soccer. Soccer Dirk. The uh, little white fly shouldn't attack you. Like, they shouldn't do any damage, they just like shove you out of the way. But I'm guessing that they do damage. Because that's the way this game works, generally. So, yeah, basically, with these guys, what you want to do is try and get them somewhere that you can just circle strafe them. Because otherwise, you're going to take damage. And they do full hearts of damage, so. Like, even in my current position, I'm not invulnerable against them. Wait! Another key! There we go, and... Just go them all into... Letting me just jolly around it outside and pepper them with shots. Perfect. So you don't want to go at full speed, because if you do that, then some of them won't get goaded. Which is not the thing that you're looking to do. There we go. And obviously the champion's left. Book of Revelations charge. Oh, fuck. Cube meat saved my. Well, saved some damage there. Not bad. Oh, Cube meat saved some damage there, which is not bad. <laughs> not even pretty fly, actually. That's the thing about orbitals, man, you can't, like, they're epic, <laughs> basically. Uh, we're going for the boss, we're only on Necropolis Part 1. It's war. This means war. What's a pussycat? Oops. He says and then gets hit by him. He says and then gets hit by him. If I take any more damage, I'm not going to be a happy chappy. Just wait here. Come on, war. You don't even like that pony anyway, bro. Ah, I could see that coming a fucking mile away. Just jump off it. There we go. Perfect. Now, I can just sit here and Ouija tears him until he dies. Perfect. Yet another boss who's run afoul of a flying character. That's why flight is so invaluable in this game. Honestly. Yes, devil room. Boom. And we get a little shitty meat boy. What's the devil room got for me? Fucking nut. Do you ever get that feeling? You're like, yeah, things are going too well. It's got to be Krampus. I am shooting a metric fuck ton of hearts, though. Like a metric fuck ton of uh, bullets, rather. Fuck ton of hearts. I was actually thinking like he only took half a heart off me there, so that's where my brain was when I says that. <coughs> dun, 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 dun. What, 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 what? I can't believe I died on a fallen him. Was it my last one? I was like, yes, yeah, another devil room item, great. And then, nah, dead by the fallen. I was doing well as well, I had fucking technology. I think that was that round. But it was one of them where I just had no fucking health. 
Like, you just keep hemorrhaging health on really stupid damage. Like that. But obviously I can't die to canvas. Uh, oh, justice. One of everything. Oh, and a troll bomb. That's, that's what I call justice. Telling you. But we do get another goal. So. I'm not going to complain. Lumber goal is a good item. So we'll go and finish exploring every room in here so that we can build up our spirit hearts. And we're at 30 minutes so far on Necropolis. Necropolis. Not bad considering that we've got Skatol and yeah, we're doing pretty fucking stinkingly good. Blow all you motherfuckers up. Yeah, lump of coal, son of a bitch. You guys are useless. I have Skatol. That's a glorious thing about this. About fighting these guys. They're just shit. Due to Skatol. There you go, can I use? Ah, we'll just keep going. Uh, she only really got like half a spirit heart right now. There's so many things in the necro necropolis that uh, that do full hearts of damage to you. Dun, dun. Although that was a pretty decent drop, man. Getting the uh, getting the old. Oh, for fuck's sake. Getting the old habit. There we go, we get another key. Did we go into that secret room? Did we get something that shows us the secret rooms? Oh yeah, we used the moon. We had the moon card at the start of this room. Fish head. Fish head. Nope, gotta keep the bloody penny. Because it comes in handy so much. There we go, that's him dead. So I just gotta worry about the masks. But when I can just sit in a central area and I've got so much of the central area that I can sit in. I can just pepper them. Oh and a penny. I just gotta leave the green guy because the green guy oh shit, my bad. <laughs> no mind, I was going to say the green guy can like do me a solid by killing the buttlickers, but no mind. Oh, look at that, two bombs. What's in here? The map which I'll take. The uh, spirit heart which I'll take. I've got fucking 80 cents now. Like, of course I'm going to take all this shit. So, the gunfly room is down here. Alright. Oh yeah, I, I took whatever was in the gauntlet room and uh, teleported out. That was the poison touch. Hey, Spelunker helmet. That's not bad, we've got enough bombs to make it useful. So what we need to do is we need to go out of this room and come back in, just in case. Yeah. Because you never know. We need to explore every room with this Blanca helmet now to find out where the super secret room is. Super secret, secret room. Oh. Ah. Uh, Blanca helmet's good, but the, uh, the glasses are just a bazillion times better, to be honest. Uh, it's probably going to be attached to one of these rooms, I'm guessing. Da, 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 da. Nope. Oh. Well, where the hell is it? Ah, oh, right there. Sorted. Ah, oh, what's this? Two troll bombs. Cheers. Fantastic, just what I always wanted. Glad I used a bomb to get two troll bombs. Ah well, live and learn. If I didn't use a bomb, we would have never known. Curse of Darkness. I've got a Spelunker's Helm. I should undo any Curse of Darkness. Ooh, compass. Haha, <laughs> even better. Yeah, that's one annoying thing, man. I've got a Spelunker's Helm, so... Surely, the light on this Spelunker's Helm should help me see in the darkness. No? Just me? There we go. I'll just fucking run into you, scum lords. Let my uh, let my bird come out and do the poison damage to two of you. And no, before you ask, that wasn't my intention. What's this? Can't remember. Tears up. Fucking yes. And the moon. Let's go. Fucking hell, man. 
Another health up. Another uh, extra life, rather. Oh. You alright, chubs? There we go. You're best off like, like I'm doing, sitting in the middle and letting them charge. And then uh, pulling back as he charges. See? See? Speed up. Fucking useful. Has been proven on many occasions now. There we go, and a health up. I don't even know where I am. There is a super secret room attached to this room. But obviously I can't see it. It's a bit unfortunate. There we go. There we go. I was just thinking then, I'm sitting on them rocks, these guys aren't difficult to dodge and I'm getting like a tiny proportion of my damage off because all my familiars aren't helping me. So I'm going to try this room first, this side first. Yes! That's one of these, let's use it until it explodes. I would probably change my trinket right now. Oh, perfect. What are you giving me? Ah, oh, perfect. Take a big revelations again because it's just plain better. <laughs> ah, right, there's a uh, judgment where judgment was anyway. So we have found a shop. Yeah, we found a shop. So what we need now is. Fuck's sake. Uh, we found a shop, so what we're after now is the item room and the boss. So before we go and fight the boss, we need to go to the item room. So we've definitely not found the item room yet, I can guarantee that. Well, let's just use this until it explodes. We've got so much money now that it's really not... That's better to explode soonish. Look at that, half a heart. Look at that, health down pills. Fantastic. Two coins, another half heart. Another coin, another half heart. <laughs> Getting a wee supply of hearts anyway. Oh, well, there's a, just a free half heart. Seven bombs and seven uh, keys. Right, we'll go this way. And we will run into that because I'm super special. No. Oh. Yeah, these are totally worth it because I can fly and I've got habit and book revelations, so. Well. Uh, I can't remember what ways I've been, so. If I'm like backtracking over areas that I've been, I do apologise, but as I mentioned, Lack of sleep, guys. Oh, just run into him. Charge my book of revelations up again, I suppose. There we go. Get ourselves a key and continue onwards. Oh, shizness. I hate these guys. I hate them in pieces. I just do this. Fucking stupid. There we go, that's his head dead. Why has he got a fucking fly sound? That's odd. Fucking neutral flies. Lots of hearts in there. Oh, what's that? It must be a. a library? Oh, great. Yes. Book of Sin. What are you giving me? A pill. What's a pill? Tears up. Don't mind if I do it. We've got decent fucking tears. I'll take that back though. I will touch the uh, Book of Belial so that it's out. And as usual you just go with these guys. Just the same fucking technique. It's the same technique that you've seen millions of times before. Another Book of Revelations charge. Like I says, we need to find the item room. We found that's the 
What you call it? Yep. Not too many. It's a library. So definitely been a library. I know we've been here, but I yep. Definitely been a library. Definitely been in self sacrifice room. I'm making a little map in my head right now, which isn't looking very good. It's looking like a something that a child scrawled in the back of a napkin. Basically because I'm so tired. Leave me alone. Ah, not being here. Perfect. So, just strafe around these little sons of bitches. Even when they turn into these sort of suckers, like you just keep strafing around them. And there's the item room. Perfect. Skinny odd mushroom. Increases the speed and increases the fire rate. Yeah, look at the speed of that. I think it's a slight damage down, no. But the uh, fire rate surely makes up for it. Oh yeah, that's the, the shop that we did go to. Alright, so it's time to fight Martin. Oh, this isn't the way. Is it? No, it's not. It's to the left. Up and to the left. Yeah, there we go. See? My crappy little map came in handy. There we go. So let's fight the balls. Ah, oh, shit, it's a... That's a champion. What the hell happened to me there? There we go. Oh. Right, bitch, I need you to, like, stand on one of your fucking eyeballs or something. Oh, take damage there again. Oh, and again. This poison touch is doing the damage. I think that does like a full heart of fucking damage though, so I really need to watch that. Oh, that does. Uh, so we get mum's pill purse. Range down, no thanks. Bad trip, no thanks. Health down, no thanks. Range down, no thanks. Uh, so we will take a Polaroid and we will grab the bad trip. Yeah, we're gonna have the bad trip. Alrighty. So, we've made it to Utero, or the Wimp. No thanks, see you later, agreed. Made it to the Wimp. And we've already took damage on the first, uh, the first room with mobs in it we took damage in. Uh, I'm not coming back this way, so fuck it. Yellow swag. Whoa. Just stand on there. There we go. Shoot the diglets, the digger litters. Not that bothered about absolutely anything apart from maybe if there's a library, I'll go to the library. But other than that, no thanks. Oh my god, I love that trinket. That's so good. Ah, we both spend this until explosion. Or until I'm happy with the amount of spirit hearts that we've got. Getting this right here is probably the thing that's going to keep us alive. Come on. Although I could do if I find a way to get myself down to... Ooh, judgement. I could do if I find a way to get myself down to... Uh, only half a heart. Oh well. Some extra health. I mean if I do. Yeah, if I can get myself down to only half a heart, then... Oh! How's it going, death? Hope you know I hate you. With a passion. And you're an asshole. The stupid fucking scythes. There we go, and uh, that's it. You freeze time. Oh, oh, fuck. There we go, and focus on shooting this guy. If we can kill this guy and not kill his pony, then... Oh, there we go, that was even perfect time. 
What have you got for me, Satan? Some good shit. Nine lives in the tail. Wow. Uh, neither. Neither of them's really worth it. That's really annoying. <sighs> Nine lives would have took me down to one heart. Oh my god, and I could have took the health down pill that we, we had sitting there. Oh no, we don't have a health down pill sitting there. Oh, mind, my bad. Holy shit, we've got a meat boy! I don't even realise. Hey, meat boy. Love you. Are you kidding? We've got Curse of Darkness. I don't even notice. Come on, meat boy. What do you think I pay you for? There we go. Sorted. Yeah, I think Polaroid will take me down to uh, one heart. Uh, Polaroid? Polaroid wouldn't take you down to one heart, Stejo. What are you lying for? Uh, Polar uh, Polaroid. Nine lives would have took me down to one heart. So if I could find a way to like drop half a heart, but. Like, there is no way. You kind of need to drop more than half a heart in order to, like, get half a heart. Right, and pick up, like, a half heart. Open up this. Single bomb. You've been pretty shocking so far, to be honest. That's it, meat boy. You kill that wannabe. I'll kill this wannabe gish. There you go. Yeah, fighting the hollow. This guy's an asshole. Meat boy. Do your job. Oh, for fuck's sake. Meat boy, go and eat him. Eat him, meat boy. There we go. There we go, now he's dead. Meat boy, you're useless sometimes, bro. Just, just so you know that you're completely fucking worthless sometimes. Ah, teleport. Oh, cup his head. Not gonna use it, but. Oh, it wasn't a hollow. What's his name? I forget the name of him now. Is it hollow? No, hollow's the uh, Larry Junior type guy. Split heart, perfect. Right, what we need to do is we need to win a half heart. That's how this is going to work, guys. We're going to win a half heart. On one of these things, I know. Oh, some bombs. Because we need to get to uh, infinite Polaroid invincibility. Sorry, guys, my headset's really hurting me, yeah? Yeah, we need to get down to infinite Polaroid invincibility for fighting the blue baby fight. That's just got to be done. That's a full heart, mate. Thanks for the effort. You got an A for the effort. I'm sure there's a half heart kicking about somewhere. But it'd be a lot easier if I could just get one in here. Come on. That's it. Give me that. Give me that, but give me half a heart in it. Fuck's sake. That's it. Give me that, but give me half a heart in it. Oh my god. This is going to be a long run, by the way, guys. I haven't noticed it already. If you've watched this far, good on you. Go on. Go on. Go on. Half heart. Is there a half heart there? Yes, there is. Yeah, basically what we're doing now is we are collecting spirit hearts. Two hearts gives you a spirit heart, which is fantastic. See? And now we grab that and pop this again. And infinite curse and Polaroid invincibility. And lots of health. 
So, oh, there's another half heart. Not gonna grab that just now. May as well use that. Hey, may as well grab these these hearts and gain some more spirit hearts off of it. I said we've got a direct way to translate regular hearts into spirit hearts right now. Which is beautiful. So there's a, a half heart there and a half heart there. Alright. So we get both these half hearts. Perfect. And we need another full heart to translate these half hearts into spirit hearts. Yay! Alright. Now we don't have another one, so. We'll do that and then we'll go to the boss trap room, see what they've got. See what's on offer. Oh, come this way. Trade that in to get six points on my nectar card. I'm only kidding. Oh, my book of revelations. I have three points on it. Oh. Uh, right, so let's go this way. And a little meat boy there, chewing up on some heart. Not probably the the worst thing that you could try and attack there, meat boy. That's it. Chew on the hearts. Perfect. Hearts good for you. What's the protein at? What's the iron? Uh, we'll go to the boss trap and see what's in there. So yeah, basically, I've, I've showed you this before, but basically the having half a heart and a Polaroid, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, having half a heart and a Polaroid basically means that we've got... Uh, whenever we get attacked, like whenever we get hit, we get Polaroid invisibility. So we can get hit again, rapid succession. Ah, monster too. There's a good monster. Not seen you in a while, to be careful, honestly. There we go, and we've got uh, Meat Boy and the Bird out beating the living fuck out of him. As well as having uh, Maggie help me with the shooting aspect of that. There we go, and uh, that's him dead. What did we get? The freaking Joker. That is beautiful. This means that we don't need to fight. Ah, oh, shit. Now yeah, we do, because we need to go up north. <laughs> up north? <laughs> oh god. We need to go to the cathedral, so we do need to fight the long boss fight. God damn it. Let's go south. Let's go south. Let's go down. Can... Yeah, they can. Fuck. What a waste. Waste this bit of heart to find that out. At least now I know, for the future, that Diglets can traverse. There we go. See, so yep, there it is that. And we get the tick. Nope, we need the Polaroid. Oh, unfortunately, don't take damage coming in. And uh, what is it? Two troll bombs. Great. I thought it was worth it. I thought it was worth it. It cost me half a spirit heart. Oh fuck! I've seemed to have picked up a heart from somewhere. Don't even realise I've done it. <laughs> Useless get. A horrible night to have a cross. There we go. So we're back to doing ridiculous damage. Or well, doing decent damage. Right, what are you giving me? We have honestly like min-maxed this game so hard. With these uh, between the judgments and everything. Everything that we possibly could do, we've been able to do, so. Dog food, that gives us an extra heart, so we might as well go and trade it in at the blood bank for uh, three charges on our Book of Revelations. And we'll play you since we've got a spell sent. I don't really want the keys, but that is. Uh, Guppy's tail, if we could have got it at the time, would have been fantastic for the chest. The same as the right hand, but obviously you can't take the right hand. There we go, and we get a key. And we're going to fight Mom's heart. 
Uh, the great thing is we can, because we're not going to fight Satan, we can use as many bombs as we like here. Basically because uh, Satan you can use bombs on, Isaac and Blue Baby, not so much. Come on monster, just fucking quit it. Oh my god. Right, this is all on you and uh, the bird here, meat boy, and the boyd. There we go, and go on, meat boy. Yeah, useless get. There we go. Now she's just firing continuously. Not going to complain at that. There we go, and we took minimal damage there. Ah, oh, and we can see again. Fantastic. What are you offering? A bomb and a heart. Oh, apparently we'd already picked up a heart, so... Might as well just keep fucking picking them up. Useless cunt. Ah, that's shit. There's no point even doing that because I can't blow my way through. I can't believe I've done that. I can't believe that I just like picking up hearts like an idiot willy nilly. Oh my god. It's just, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that bad, but the issue is that uh, picking up the hearts screws up my Polaroid invincibility. Like, not only does it screw up my uh, infinite cost state, but it screws my polar invincibility, which is super annoying. There we go. I might actually traverse this entire place to see if we... Nah, there's no point. I'll probably got to lose more hearts than it will save me, to be perfectly honest if I do that. I was going to say to see if I can find a demon beggar. Or maybe a blood bank sitting about somewhere. You know what, I think it's worth it. I think it, I really think it's worth it. Not only that, but we've got a chance of uh, of getting some more um, spirit hearts through Book of Revelation usage. Through Book of Revelation usage. We've got a single penny, and we get to fight fucking death again. We've already fought you. Surely you should just be dead and be done with it. I wouldn't mind so much if he was going to drop me a fucking a cube of meat, but he's not. Oh, for fuck's sake, there we go, I just took damage, that makes it completely worthless. Completely fucking worthless. Fucking meat boy is demolishing them. There we go, sorted. No point going out in the other room, because it's not going to help us. Do, 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 do. Oh well, <laughs> might as well just abuse this crap out of this beggar. Not like that, you dirty fuckers. Like I said, if anyone's still watching at this point in time, then I am incredibly impressed. Uh, two hearts, kind of pointless for us. Pretty much the opposite of what we're trying to accomplish right now. Right, meat boy. Sorted. Huh, missing page. Go. Meat boy, you appear to be attacking things that are unkillable. I'm not sure if you've noticed this or not, but uh, yeah. Oh well, that works. I am not getting that card. Kill what it is. Probably Temperance. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. Don't need to be in here. See you later. That was two hearts. 
There we go, and explode the explode the explosions. Two sets of greed. Fuck's sake. You know what, I'm just gonna have to come back through here. So I've already like dropped a bomb on them, so I'd just end up costing me bombs if I didn't kill them. And I might even take damage later on. Oh for fuck's sake, I can't believe that. Oh look at that, we'd have got steam fail though. Might as well pick up that fucking heart. Oh for Christ's sakes. Good job, mate, boy. Oh my god, I'll just run into him, why don't I? I am wasting so much health doing this. Oh, never mind. If we play this until it explodes, we might get a... Oh, hanged man, might as well take it. Might get either a temperance card or some... Uh, spirit hearts. This could be the thing that... Uh, Oh my god, are you fucking for real? Are you for real? Are you for real? Oh well, let's keep playing until we get another fucking temperance card. Blood bag gives you full health and... We need a Polaroid. Uh, the blood bag gives you full health and... Uh, an extra health, which is generally amazing. It's normally fucking great, but uh, yeah, not for us. I can't believe that it didn't just give me that one more use of it to drop me into Polaroid invincibility. So crappy. Oh, for fuck's sake! The stars takes us to the item room. Or teleports us randomly. Oh, well. That's alright, I suppose. So, we'll go and fight him. We explored every single avenue that we possibly could to try and get ourselves into the, uh... Oh, oh, keep dodging. Oh fuck. I unpaused it there and used the completely wrong fucking keys to try and move myself. Like an absolute moron. <sighs> Come on. As you can see, lacking the, the old Polaroid invincibility is kinda hazardous to your old healthy. Actually, I need to get the bird in there. There you go. So, at least the bird's attacking there. The fact that I'm doing, like, super fucking... I've got super high tiers, but I'm not doing an awful lot of damage is actually detrimental to my health on this. Which kinda sucks. Oh, that's his on-screen health. So we will defeat Isaac, which is great, which is the fucking furthest we've been with any of the characters. On Eve, I'm one of the characters I fucking hate. But uh, I'm not going to pick up that half heart because that's just useless. Alright, and uh, we'll go to the chest. And uh, what do we get? PhD? Don't mind if I do. PhD gives you health? I didn't realise that. Um, the bra, no thanks. Fat odd mushroom gives you health. And the slow time. Alright, so we got the hourglass. Mom's bar, fat old mushroom, and PhD. What I'm actually going to do is just. Oh shit, actually, I should probably just bomb my way through here. That's where I wanted to go. Now we get greed. Great. Trust my fucking luck. Greed will probably do more damage to her than any other fucking room in this hellhole. 
Hey, it gives us better heart actually. <laughs> Can't fucking complain. Oh, it's two of the super fast squishy ones that. Fuck this shit, man. Are you kidding? I can't blow my way out. Fuck's sake. Oh well, we took we took a spit hard damage and it gives a spit hard back, I'm not gonna complain about that. We also got half a spit heart because of the uh we got half a spirit heart because of the old uh, Book of Revolutions habit combo. Oh shit. Ah, oh, what the fuck? There we go. I just realised that my mouse pointer is on the screen and I will move it because it's annoying the hell out of me. Alright, so next. We've got a lot of troll files. Which we'll clear out just because we can, I suppose. There we are, and last one. Sorry. Good coin. So this has been pretty damn good. I wonder, can I actually blow my way out of these? No, I can't. You actually have to fight all the rooms in the chest. At least we know that now. There's no point even trying to blow your way out of them. So that's horrible. The good thing about us uh, garnering health like we have been is. Uh, We've got, remember we've got the Ankh, and we've got the 1-Up. Come on, as soon as you, like, properly dive me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ugh, rubbish. Come at me, bro. There we go, and you can eat a fucking bomb as well. Don't eat meat, boy. Whatever you do, that's horrible. Got a small, a slight fondness for meat, boy. I've run out of bombs. That's fine. Not going to use bombs anyway. So shoot these bloody things. There we go. And it's the fight against Blue Baby. Get Meat Boy in on the game, and as soon as I take damage, I will get the fly in the uh, the burden on it. Oh, for fuck's sake! And we're back. Jesus Christ! Honestly, the post processing that's going to be required in this video is going to be ridiculous. So annoying, man. I honestly can't get through an episode. Obviously this is a long episode of Isaac, but I've had four interruptions so far. Or three. Three interruptions, I think. I could have dodged that so easily there. I thought I could have dodged that so easily as well. My brain's... Caffeine. Lacking. No. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't think I've beaten Blue Baby actually. I can't recall beating Blue Baby. Come on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Just shoot him. Just fucking kill him. Kill him, meat boy. No, just kill the baby. Kill the baby of the blue. Kill Blue Baby, meat boy. Fucking take him out of the game. Go on, meat boy, you can do it. Yeah, meat boy. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Dad skews beard Oh my god, you beat me by a quest mark, quest mark, quest mark, so beard basement. Yeah, me by Oh my god. Who'd have thought it that it would be fucking Eve that we beat the game with? That is ridiculous. Oh ending that I've never actually seen before. A load of little pictures. Oh, mom and dad. Little Isaac. Makes you wonder what Isaac's dad's doing at this point. <laughs> Alright. 
Before I got away from that psycho bitch. Oh, bye dad. His dad left him. The end. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Haha, <laughs> I like the new splash screen, that's epic. Alright guys, so as always, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you next time.